OK, so what we're listening for is a sound which goes something like... Go scrabble around in the leaves, see if you can find one. Use a stick or something rather than your hands, because there are lots of snakes around here. There are about 100 different types of poison dart frog, in a blaze of colours and with different levels of toxicity. The most toxic is the golden dart frog found in Colombia. The poison it contains could potentially kill up to 10 people. But in Costa Rica, we were looking for a red and blue one. Well, some of us were. Have they found one yet? I'm just going to relax until they find one. They could be some time. Yeah, don't work too hard, boys. I wouldn't want you getting all sweaty or anything. Okay. No, there's three. There's three in there. Now, I've made sure that I've washed my hands because these frogs are very, very sensitive in the skin. And you don't want any insect repellent or anything hurting them. Most people are absolutely blown away first time they see a dart frog about how small they are. It's incredible to think that an animal this size uh, can be the most poisonous on the planet. Those bright, bright colours are part of the reason that this frog is actually found active during the day. Every other frog found around here comes out at night time. It's deafening with the calls of frogs. But these dart frogs can be active during the day and they're brightly, brightly coloured because they know that predators are going to see these colours and know it means just one thing. This is highly poisonous and certainly not going to be good to eat. So the poisons that are created by this little frog, originally they start off in the leaves of plants. Ants eat the leaves, frogs eat the ants, and then they almost sweat the poison out on their skin. 